Emma Raducanu is hoping to return to the court before the end of the year. Emma Raducanu has once again dropped down the WTA rankings as a result of her lengthy layoff, with the Brit now the world number 194. The 20-year-old has not featured since being beaten by Yelena Ostapenko in Stuttgart in April but has hopes of returning to the tennis court before 2023 draws to a close. Following her defeat in Germany, Raducanu took the decision to address several of her recurring injury woes by undergoing surgery. The former British no one went under the knife on her wrists and her ankle in the hope of bouncing back to pain-free full fitness by the end of the year. She undertook the surgeries to prevent the injuries from hindering her as she looks to rediscover her top form. Raducanu has not featured since but remains hopeful that a return before 2024 is the plan. But when she does get back out on court, she will be aware she needs to put some wins on the board to climb back up the world rankings. The 2021 US Open champion now finds herself with the task of breaking back into the top 100, having previously been the world number 10 in July 2022. Having lost the 10 WTA points she received from playing in the first round of the 2022 US Open, where she lost 6-3, 6-3 to Elise Cornet. Raducanu is now ranked number 194 in the list and could drop further down the rankings before the end of the year. In contrast, the likes of new U.S. Open champion Coco Gauff and Marketa Vondrauseva continue to climb the rankings. Despite losing in the final of the U.S. Open to Gauff last week, Marina Sabalenka has been named the world number one in the updated standings to put an end to Iga Swiatek's 75-week spell at the top. The Belarusian made it to at least the semifinals of all four Grand Slams this season and has improved markedly over the last 12 months. Speaking after her defeat on Saturday, Sabalenka said being the new no one helped her process her U.S. Open final loss. She explained, having won three titles in 2023, probably that's why I am not super depressed right now. Becoming a world number one, it's a huge improvement, an achievement. I am really proud of myself that all those years I have been working so hard helped me to become world no one. It's good so that I can say I have been world number one, but I really would like to finish the year as world number one. That's why I am still positive, and I am still motivated.